Hey guys, my friend Evan here, and today I have a tutorial for you for a minecart loader. So this minecart loader is based on a design by Zoomavoid, and it's more of a bug fix. I have one of the bug f bugs uh, illustrated here. I discovered this in my Let's Play series. Um, and so this is a circumstance where the cart is not completely full. So this uh, comparator here, which checks the fullness of the cart against a signal strength of 15 does not provide a redstone output and therefore does not send the cart on its way. And it cannot fill up because um, the item hopper here is full of um, some other item. And this can happen when you have a lot of different items going in because of the random nature that the hoppers will fill up. So I have a fix for that. As well, I found that when the, the other bug I found is when the system's empty, the minecart will just ride back and forth indefinitely. And although this doesn't cause any serious problems, I found it a bit annoying. So these are the two bugs I've addressed. Let's take a look at how I fixed them. Here we have my modified version of the minecart loader. Uh, as you can see, the minecart is not riding back and forth, but indeed it is empty, and the system is empty. And so this was achieved by replacing the sticky piston redstone block apparatus on the side here with a falling edge monostable circuit. So when the system empties out, this will give a single pulse out, retracting the piston and sending the minecart on its way. And we can just give that a quick test over here by adding in a few items. And you can see they'll go through pretty quickly. And the minecart goes on its way. So that's perfect. The second problem I was addressing was when the minecart was half full and yet no more items could get in or some level of fullness. And I addressed this problem by adding an item hopper here with a comparator on the side. And I filled it with 50% items because that was enough for me, but um, you can fill it with whatever you want. So this seems to work out well and now it compares the signal strength of 7 against the signal strength of 15 here. And so as long as this card is giving out a signal strength of 7, this will send the minecart on its way. Okay, let's see how it's built. So here I have a, uh, an original example of Zoomavoid's build. And in here I have a situation where the minecart is not completely full and therefore it will, not, it will not go to the unloader. So the way we fix it is to come here on this side and place a hopper or any sort of container there. I'm going to fill it up um, fully at the beginning just to demonstrate this and then I'm going to replace that with a comparator. So now this comparator is giving out a signal strength of 15, uh, or 14, sorry, and then this one is accepting a signal of, well, something, I, I forget what exactly, Six, uh, four out of five. And so as I start to remove items from this, you can see this minecart left. Now, depending on your circumstance, maybe you want to change the, uh, the uh, threshold here and you can play around with that but but to be absolutely certain that your minecart won't get full uh, well won't jam your hopper system won't jam you, know, you can set it to 50% and then as soon as the the hopper is 50% full it will go on its way okay so now we can address the second problem which was the minecart driving back and forth indefinitely when there's no items in the system uh, so this is easily fixed by first removing this piston and the uh, the redstone block there. And then what we need to do is add, in place of that, a falling edge monostable circuit. And a falling edge monostable circuit is created by just making a normal monostable circuit, which we'll create right here, with a uh, block here, and send the redstone, or a uh, comparator into there. We need a dropper here facing inwards, and then a hopper facing into that. Above the dropper, you need to place a block, and on the block, put a single redstone dust. So this is, oh, and in here you need to put a single item, it doesn't matter what it is. And so this here is a, uh, is a monostable circuit. Anytime that, let's get a button, anytime this block is powered, you can see you have an output here and it's short enough that it will send the minecart back and forth. So what we'll do is add a, um, take an output from this comparator here and 
add a redstone torch. And so this inverts the, the signal. So when items are placed in here, so we'll place uh, 16 items here. And when it goes in, when the items go in, this turns off. And so the monostable circuit is reset. And as soon as the items leave, we get a power out here, which triggers the dropper to send the item into the hopper, send it, giving an output at the comparator, and then triggers the uh, the piston to retract and send the minecart. So that's perfect. Um, this is a really nice update to the system, and I think one of the things that some people have mentioned is that sometimes this piston can actually push the minecart off the rails, so adding an extra block here really helps to, uh, to stop that from happening. So that's everything. Hopefully this tutorial was uh, concise enough for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.